Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here to show you guys uh, what is in my hospital bag. I will be showing you guys everything that I am bringing for myself as well as for my husband. Everything that we are bringing for baby will be on a separate video. I am going to be filming a what's in my baby's hospital bag slash diaper bag and that will be coming out next week so don't forget to look out for that. So first I want to show you guys the bag that I'm bringing. This is, um, I actually have no idea where this bag is from and there is no tag or anything so I don't really know where this came from but um, I got it as a gift a long time ago it is um, not zip up or it doesn't really have any latches to close or anything but it is a big old bag and it fits everything so that's what we're bringing first thing I'm gonna show you guys is uh, my clothes and everything that I'm bringing for myself so I have in this little separate bag some of like the smaller items that I'm bringing for myself I will be bringing three pairs of socks, uh, all really nice warm socks. My baby will be born in November, so I'm assuming I'm going to be cold because I'm always cold. I am also bringing maternity bras. These bras I got on Amazon and they are really awesome. They're nice and stretchy. They are also, um, you know, they snap. So it's really, they're really easy to use. And the best thing about these is that most of these like really nice stretchy bras are the bras that you have to like put over your head. And as I noticed that from my first trimester and being like really, really sore, that anything that went over my head was just excruciating. So I really, really like that these actually have a bra latch in the back. So these will be really easy to put on and hopefully It'll help with the tenderness. So I am bringing two of those and I am bringing uh, three tank tops. These are just plain tank tops. Again, I got these, I believe from Amazon, just super cheap. I kind of figured either they might get like ruined in the hospital or I'll get milk on them or like who knows. So I didn't want to bring anything like too fancy. Plus I wanted something really, really comfy. So I'm bringing uh, three of these. They're just uh, extra long tank tops and um, in just plain color so black and then a light gray and a dark gray also in here i have a couple of crappy pairs of underwear that can get ruined and i can just throw them away if for some reason i end up wearing underwear the last thing that i have uh, in this bag is like an elastic belly band and this is actually like kind of tight but like still pretty stretchy belly band uh, i plan on um wrapping my belly after the hospital although i will probably not be wearing the actual uh, postpartum belly wrap immediately uh, in the hospital or like as i'm leaving the hospital because i'm probably still going to be a little bit too tender so i am bringing this like i said it's just super super stretchy so that i can wear something that is nice and constricting without it being too much and too tight and too uncomfortable so again i don't know if i'll actually end up wearing it because i don't know how sore i'll be but it's good to have it just in case uh one thing that i was planning on packing in my hospital bag which i don't think that i'm actually going to be bringing is the actual belly wrap postpartum belly wrap and this is one that is actually like a back brace kind of a thing it's like very tight and i do plan on using it but like i said i just don't know if i will be um, up for using it like right after the hospital so it might not be something that I even put into my hospital bag at all but I figure I'd show it to you guys anyways so I am also going to be bringing a couple of pairs of pants these here are just maternity leggings they have the big stretchy band that goes over your belly super super comfortable they are just black leggings um, everything that I'm bringing is basically just for comfort nothing is like super fancy high fashion I just want to be really, really comfortable when I'm uh, at the hospital. Plus, you never know if I end up having to have an emergency C-section. Uh, I want to make sure that I don't have anything that is uh, tight around my stomach or um, uncomfortable in any way. So some maternity black leggings and some... Uh, these are actually not maternity, but they are super, super stretchy and like really comfy, basically like jogger pants. And they are black as well. I figured anything that I wear below the waist should be black just in case. Uh, this sweatshirt right here is actually not really one of my favorites, but it is really comfortable and it is actually a zip up. 
uh, sweatshirt so that'll be really easy for breastfeeding so that is what I am bringing the one thing that I am actually really excited about is this robe that is seriously the softest most amazing robe ever I will be wearing this afterwards and after the baby's born and for breastfeeding and I might even actually wear it home because who cares no one's gonna see me and it's just so soft and cozy but it's actually still really thin and so it's not like going to like way overheat me either which I'm really excited about so I have uh, just a pair of like comfy slippers that have like rubber underneath so that will be useful if I plan on walking around. Uh, if I do even wear slippers, I might just walk around in socks or um, whatever shoes I'm wearing at the time. I don't know. But I heard that that would be something good to have. It's just a pair of comfy slippers, just in case. Uh, so that is all I'm bringing for clothes for myself. Now for clothes for my husband, we only live 10 minutes away from the hospital, so I am not planning on packing too much for him since he is going to have to come home and check on the animals anyways. Then he can come and grab anything that he needs back and forth. So for me, I'm bringing probably even more stuff than I even need. But for him, it's uh, just really simple. I'm, I'm bringing an extra pair of boxers for him and some socks. I am also going to be bringing just like a regular t-shirt that is nice and comfy, some nice and comfy pajama pants. So we're bringing that and then just a sweatshirt as well because it's going to be cold. Uh, I am also going to be bringing an umbrella. I live in Oregon, so it's always raining here. <laughs> so I wanna make sure that we have protection for me and the baby when we're leaving the hospital before we get into the car and then also from the car to the house. So for personal items, I am going to be bringing a brush and I attached a little um, rubber band to it or a hair tie here, just in case. I usually always have one in my wrist, but just in case I happen to forget that day, I would like to have one because I'm most likely gonna wanna get my hair out of the way while I am in labor. I brought a um, hair dryer just in case I end up taking a shower and washing my hair in the hospital. I'll probably wanna dry it. Uh, especially if it's right before we leave the hospital because I don't want to leave with wet hair. It'll make me even colder. And then also just to be more comfortable with warm, dry hair uh, when we are in the hospital. As for personal care, I uh, have these three little bags here. Uh, first one, I just have a little nail kit. It's really simple. I'm basically just bringing um, a little pick just in case I have dirt or anything under my nails or my husband or my mom who will also be in the hospital uh, as well as a um, file and nail clippers just um, to cut our nails if they're too long or file them or anything to make sure that we don't scratch the baby. So that one is it. This one is a little bit more of like bathroom related items. I am bringing some deodorant, no explanation needed for that. Uh, some toothpicks and floss for after eating or after brushing our teeth. The uh, toothbrushes for my husband and I will be packed last minute because we are obviously using them. <laughs> uh, I also have some shampoo and conditioner to take a shower after I give birth because I have heard that that is like the best shower that you'll ever take ever. <laughs> I will also be bringing my own bar of soap. It's just some dial uh, antibacterial that I really like. I will be bringing also my Aveeno uh, lavender and vanilla calming lotion. This is the lotion that I use for myself, so this is just for me. And I will be bringing some nipple cream, which I have heard from quite a lot of different mamas that using the nipple cream before you start breastfeeding or even right when you start breastfeeding, it can help prevent um, a lot of the pain and the cracking that comes along with how hard it is to breastfeed. So. I will be trying that. I will be doing that right away. So we are bringing that to the hospital for trying to avoid hopefully some of the breastfeeding pain. We'll see if it works. I'll let you guys know. Um, I am also bringing uh, my makeup bag. I didn't actually separate makeup specifically that's coming with me to the hospital. Uh, this is just my everyday makeup bag that I have uh, all the time. I'm just going to be throwing that in the hospital bag to make it easy. I don't know if I'll actually be wearing makeup at the hospital, but I might want to. I might want to like doll myself up to look cute for pictures after or, um, or just to feel better. So I will be bringing this. 
I have some uh, Urban Decay concealer. I have my Makeup Forever HD foundation. I have my Urban Decay uh, Chill Makeup Setting Spray, which actually just feels really good to spray. So even if I don't wear any makeup, I might still just spray this on myself because it just feels really nice. I have also the uh, Becca and Jaclyn Hill um, blush and highlighting palette. I have the Shade and Light uh, Kat Von D uh, contour and highlighting palette. I also have just uh, some Sephora bronzer just to give my face a little bit of color. I have a little sample of a Sephora moisturizer that um, I have been using a little bit as a primer just to test it out. And it's really nice, it feels really good on my face, so maybe, like I said, even if I don't wear makeup, I might still put a little bit of moisturizer, um, or even just my lotion, I guess, <laughs> would work. Uh, I also have uh, just all my makeup brushes. Don't need to show you that. I have um, some tweezers, just in case there's some crazy hairs that need to come off. I have a Sephora mascara, a Maybelline uh, black eyeliner, and a little bit of uh, Yes lip balm. Uh, I have also heard that your lips get super dry in the hospital, so I want to make sure that I have this. I'll be bringing my purse too, and I have like three or four different lip balms in my purse, so hopefully I'm not going to be like in dire need because <laughs> I should have more than enough. So that is what I'm bringing. Like I said, um, you know, I'm not separating anything specific for the hospital. I'm just sort of bringing everything that is usually in my bag. Oh my gosh, that's just going to fly. <laughs> Um, so that is all that is in my makeup bag. Uh, another thing that I think is probably the most important thing to have ever, which I probably shouldn't forget because I always have it with me. It's always in my purse, but I want to make sure that I do not forget. It's my water bottle. And if for some reason I do forget it, I will send my husband right back to come and get it because I can't live without this. So the other thing that I'm bringing, this will also be kind of uh, last minute things, but I wanted to show you guys anyways, is just my camera bag that has all my camera equipment with it. Uh, I will be having extra batteries, the charger, my camera itself, which I am filming on, so I don't uh, have it in here, obviously. Uh, I will also be putting my iPad in here, just in case any of us feel like watching anything. My mom and my husband might get kind of bored, so they might want to watch something, or maybe I will if, um, if I feel like it, I mean, who knows? I might be in too much pain and not want to look at anything. But I will be putting basically all my electronic stuff in here. So I will be packing my iPad, like I said, in here, uh, my charger, as well as my phone charger to make sure that I don't forget that. So that is everything that I have to show you guys today, everything that is coming with me to the hospital. Uh, like I told you guys before, next week I will be showing you guys the what's in my diaper bag slash uh, my baby's hospital bag, which is this one here, just a little preview. I will be showing you guys everything that is in there and for the baby next week. Uh, as of things for me, I have shown you everything, so thanks so much for watching. Please, 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 uh, if you guys have had a baby already, please let me know if there is anything that you guys feel like you absolutely needed in the hospital that you don't see that I have. I would love all the feedback that I can get and um, yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos. Um, 37 week update will be coming up next and then the baby's hospital bag and much, much more after that. So thanks for watching and you guys have a good day.